America's demand for power is getting greater by the day. From crypto mining to artificial intelligence, the grid is straining to meet the need. The federal government wants that need to be met with renewable energy, but that transition isn't keeping pace. Enter an old alternative, coal. Despite its dirty reputation, a fifth of the power generated in the US still comes from coal plants. However, that number has been dwindling in recent years. Close to half of the nation's power capacity from coal plants is on track to be gone by 2026. Now, some lawmakers are calling to keep these facilities running by propping them up. No, not like that. In almost a dozen states, legislation has been introduced to save coal plants facing impending closures. How they're trying to do that varies from state to state. Some proposals would give state regulators more power to intervene in coal plant retirements. Others would require utility companies to cover transition costs or find alternative sources of power. One bill in Utah even allows the state to use taxpayer dollars toward the purchasing of closing coal plants. While the methods differ, the goal remains the same. Keep plants open so renewable energy infrastructure can catch up. The North American Electric Reliability Corp puts it in no uncertain terms. They say that over the next decade, most regions of the country are facing increased risks of inadequate electricity supplies during periods of extreme weather. This is compounded by the fact that the nation's electricity load is expected to jump more than 80% higher than what had been expected over the next five years. That's a result of a variety of new technologies, which more and more people are beginning to use, like crypto, AI, and even electric vehicles. They're all putting a strain on US electricity supply. Green energy advocates argue delaying the inevitable by keeping coal plants open will only cause more harm than good. A report by Energy Innovation found all but one of the country's 210 remaining coal plants would cost more to run than if they were replaced by renewable energy sources. Meanwhile, the EPA has proposed rules that would essentially require all coal plants to close by 2040 anyway. The only way they could stay open under this potential mandate is if plants start capturing 90% of their emissions by 2030. This would further add to operating costs, which already run much higher than their clean energy replacements. Take one of the coal plants that Utah Bill is looking to keep alive, for example. Even if the state did buy it, the cost of updating the plant and retrofitting it with carbon capture tech would total about $5 billion. And there's the environmental downside as well. No other source of electricity in the US produces more greenhouse gas emissions than coal. It's responsible for over half of what the country's energy sector emits. Globally, pollution from coal kills a half million people every year. Eliminating it is an easy solution from an environmental standpoint, but a difficult one when it comes to meeting America's growing energy needs. Either way, it's debate with a ticking clock.